Hello everybody, welcome to Know Your Chromebooks and today I'll be showing you how to create and edit documents on your Fire tablet. This is particularly useful for screen reader users like myself. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, so first of all creating and editing documents on Android devices can be pretty challenging because most Office apps out there don't really support screen reader uh, screen reader apps which can create a potential barrier for screen reader users and also you know a lot of college students use the tablets for college work and in colleges but then again you know if you can't use the conveniency of a tablet then you're going to feel a bit left out so today's video will be showing you how to overcome that barrier now We've got a few important things that you should take into account. This is particularly useful for all Android devices except for Chromebooks because Google Docs on the Chromebook for Android can be pretty temperamental given the new Chrome Vox setup. We had a look at Google Slides yesterday and if you want to see that video we explain about this new Chrome Vox feature. So, that is number one. Number two, because I'm using my Fire tablet, you will need Google Play installed. Now, I may do a tutorial video on how to install Google Play on your Fire tablet. Not all Fire tablets support Google Play, and so that is number two. If you have Google Play installed on your Fire tablet, that'll be great. If not, then I'll probably do a tutorial sometime uh, later on in the year. Okay, so the app we'll be using is Google Docs for Android. That is very screen reader friendly. I have used that in the past for my revision on this device and it works beautifully and it is very accessible. It keeps up with you in real time. The unfortunate thing is that if you are looking to edit documents, Word documents, Google uh, PowerPoint presentations and Excel documents, you will need Google Docs, Sheets and Slides installed to edit all of those documents. Those are free apps, so you can't really have the conveniency of accessing all of those functions within one app. But then again, you know, because these office apps aren't screen reader friendly and you know what is that okay so first of all we're going to need to go to the play store google play store play store let's bear me one minute navigate up what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go to the search box even though i have the google doc Two of six. Up, up. We're going to type in docs. C -A -D -D -K -O -O -V -C Sorry, it's me. C -D -S -S. Search, shift, shift. Oh. Search. Docs. And down here, you should be able to see. App, app, PDF reader and view app. Google Docs. Google, Google LC, Docs. Star rating. Options. Install. One and one. Back. So Install. we can click install here without Docs. going options. and clicking on the app. By We can click install by clicking on the options icon which is next to the app like it is on other Google Play apps. We don't have a permission this prior to installation which therefore means that we have to endure those permission requests which come in the form of pop-ups. Pop-ups can be very annoying for everybody and particularly for screen reader users because they can find themselves disoriented within the app. So that's something we need to be mindful of. Also I'm not using my Chromebook and my Fire tablet and its default launcher you know it doesn't have a context menu command and also if I double tap and hold it will actually drag the app should I need to drag it to a desired location 
which I do with my Google Play apps. Drive, row seven. So because I've had Google Docs installed in the past, it's probably put it in the Play Apps folder, which I have created to separate the apps that are installed on Google Play from on this device from the apps that are installed on the Amazon App Store. IT voice Google average fired apps to Mobizen five foot back five fifty one five fifty two five Mobizen It's probably not really installed just yet. Overview home closing folder home calendar camp docs row three column five the only thing is that if you have a Fire tablet, you would have both apps called Docs. So always try and look for the very last section in the home screen because the most recent apps will always appear at the very end of the home screen installed or not. Overview. Looks as though we're going to have to open Overview. it from the Google Play store. So, sorry about all this. So it had installed, I'm not too sure where the icon was. But we're here now. Okay, so it should have like a tutorial that sometimes pops up. Open document. Let's go and create a new document for the sake of this video because of because I've just installed the app it hasn't popped up with my most recent documents just yet because it's still in the setup process so let's go ahead and create a new document so I'm gonna go and turn the volume up and because I haven't got my Bluetooth keyboard with me you will have to bear with me and I'm just gonna write a simple sentence this is a test So I guess put the keyboard up. Eight, eight, back, eight, eight twenty-three. Help back button. Oh. Oh. I think what I might have to do is I might have to cut the video and sort some of these problems out because we do seem to be encountering a lot of problems lately so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the video and then once we are all sorted we will resume Stop. so no. Stop. Button. I'll see you in a bit close other apps and begin recording is editing oh hang on a bit 1303 Bluetooth Mobizen dot now recording in progress okay back. we are back, back now font size i think because the screen we i think because the screen recorder was going it was using more of the uh ram ram function on the tablet which helps with multitasking so that probably was explaining why we were encountering these various problems Okay, so once you here is editing, you can start using the keyboard. So let's go ahead and type something. B V G Y C Tango H I India X. 
Oh. F return. P delete. D S Sierra. I'm not too sure whether it's because of I'm using the touch keyboard, but sometimes it's not always saying what you are doing in real time, but it does when you are using a Bluetooth keyboard, because Bluetooth keyboard I often find is quite accessible when it comes to carrying out typing tasks. So don't really get Space. too too alarmed about that, but it's something to be aware of. J U I X S Space A Space F C E Guess bear this one I D S Finish this F T Okay, so if we scroll with our fingers at G golf text color edit is editing entering document this is a test when it we can immediately view what we have written and it's saying to me that I have written this is a test which is what I have intended to write which is a milestone compared to office apps like I said in the past which are very inaccessible and don't tell you what you are even typing and what you have written so that is that to give you more of an insight we're going to have a look at a document which I sometimes use for college work or Font size, 11. Back button. Finish editing. Back button. Once we get out of this document, okay, so Microsoft Ac Microsoft Access got earlier this month. Printer paper handling Google Docs. Okay, so we're gonna open the Navigate printer up. paper Navigate handling. Up. The nice thing about Google Docs is you can set a function so you don't inadvertently edit a important document, which is what we might do. Document title, edit, 324, 326. Edit well, it's not on edit editing mode. I don't think it is on editing mode by default, but always make sure that it says edit at the top. So, because when, when you click on edit, it means that you are entering the editing mode, if that makes sense. But anyway, so. Two, often paper but transparencies in my card. Mm -hmm. Edit. Entering document, normal text, often paper but transparencies and the paper feed mechanism on modern printers. So you can see we can read the document very well. Feed can get very elaborate with multiple input and output trays, collators, saddle stitch units and book binders. So as you can see it's a document that tells us how the printer paper mechanism works and so on and so forth. Okay, well, I hope this video has proven helpful. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come, and I shall see you soon. Expand, pause, but stop.